telling you what, we got a good football team of good people. And we got a tough football team. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Razorback Football with Sam Pittman. We're glad you're with us. We join you from Starkville, where the Hogs fell to Mississippi State today. And Coach, your team battled. You were down some men, and in the end, Mississippi State just awfully strong. They've got a good football team, great quarterback. Defense is playing better. You know, they, they um, are a run blitz team. We knew that coming in. Uh, we had a lot of situations there, you know, short yardage situation we couldn't convert that really uh, took a toll on us as the game went on. You were talking about some of those short yardage plays. There were fourth down plays for you and for them. You could change a couple of those, huh. might change the day. Well, you know, down there on about the five and we didn't make it. And then obviously on the goal line, didn't make it. And they, you know, they were going for on it for fourth and three, fourth and four. and and converting, you know, and 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 that that hurt us. That's part of part of it. Tackling and and uh, blocking and protecting and things was a problem as well. You had to play without KJ Jefferson. I know you wanted to have him. You started Fortin, but it was Hornsby really who looked like gave you some life. Going into the game, we knew we were going to play both of them. We gave Cade the first uh, timeout. I think at the time at that time we might have been down 14. I think mm -hmm. maybe seven or 14. Uh, I guess seven at the time when he came in and 14, we got down 14. And so we thought, you know, we'll put Malik in there and he gave us a spark. And we said all week, we're just going to go with the hot hand, whoever that may be. And Malik gave us that spark. Well, as you might imagine, we've got some highlights between the Razorbacks and Mississippi State. We're going to have more with coach when we come back. So stay with us. Razorback football with Sam Pittman returns in just a moment. Razorback Football with Sam Pittman is brought to you by Coca-Cola. With zero sugar and refreshingly delicious, is Coca-Cola Zero Sugar the best Coke ever? Find out for yourself. By Ford and the Ford F-150, official truck of the Arkansas Razorbacks. Built Ford tough. Saracen Casino Resort, Vegas, Arkansas style. And by Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Live fearless. Try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get scared sometimes. Of a lot of things. Joining in. Decisions. The dark. The dark. But I once heard someone say. But as I always say. It's okay to be afraid. As long as you face the fear. And keep moving forward. Wherever you are in life, count on the name trusted in insurance for more than 70 years. Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Live fearless. A handshake means something. It's a warm greeting, the quiet promise of things to come. To Jack Stevens, a handshake embodied the principles of good business. It provided the foundation for a family-owned, independent financial services firm built on integrity and trust that is still run that way today. That's why when we do business, we do it the Stevens way, where a handshake means just a little bit more. If you shop at Walmart, you already know how to get what you need when you need it. Because you're just as good at saving time as you are at saving money. You know how to spend a little less to get a little more, to make life a little better. I need to try it first. Yeah. This segment of Razorback Football with Sam Pittman is brought to you by Dillard's, the style of your life. We are headquartered in Starkville as the Razorbacks invade the home of the Mississippi State Bulldogs. 
Twin receivers to each side. Rodgers gets the snap, fires it over the middle, inside the five, pass is complete. It's gonna be a first down to the four yard line. Off the zone read, out of the gun. Johnson the call, lowers his shoulder into the end zone, touchdown. Now the Hogs on third and 10. Horton to throw, here they come, and they jump him back to the 30 yard line. Rodgers looks to throw. Now he's not finding an open receiver. Protection breaks down, rolling left. Now the pass in the end zone is caught for a touchdown. Wow, Hornsby takes over at quarterback. Sophomore out of Missouri City, Texas. He's gonna keep it on an option right. Knox throws a block. Outside the 30, there he goes. Midfield to the 40. Hornsby to the 30, they've got the angle on him. They'll run him out of bounds. Inside the state 30, down at the 28-yard line. Horton under center. They're gonna give it on an inside handoff. Sanders, and I'm not sure he got there. It's gonna be really, really close. State throws him back. We're just gonna have to see where they spot the ball. They're not even gonna measure. Yeah. He didn't make it. They're at the Razorback 34-yard line. Off play action, Rogers gonna throw. Missed one open man, finds oh. another inside the 25. Justin Robinson's got a first down at the 23. One running back, four receivers off play action. Rodgers to throw, lots of time. Now he rolls left, still looking. Throws at the pylon and is caught for a touchdown. There at their own 46. Malik gonna throw off play action. Fires into the sideline, got a man complete and out of bounds. That's Keetron Jackson. Actually right outside the 41 where they spot it. The snap's down, the kick is up, the kick has got the distance and it is good. Cam Little from way downtown gets the Razorbacks on the board. At the 5.56 mark, it's 21 to three. Pipes his hands, calls for the football, rolling right. Wants to throw, looking downfield. Got a man wide open. Hazelwood at the state 45 complete. Weaves inside the 30, inside the 20. Hazelwood finally run out of bounds inside the five at the three yard line. With the football at the Mississippi State three yard line. Hornsby gonna give it to Rocket left side. Touchdown, Arkansas. Sanders goes over for his fifth rushing touchdown. Arkansas is back in the ball game. As we welcome you back to Razorback football with Sam Pittman, we saw early there, Coach. You kind of got behind the eight ball, so yeah. to speak, at the beginning of the ball game. Well, they took the, you know, we obviously kicked the opening kickoff out of bounds, and they went, they got a penalty right off the bat, and and uh, they we helped them go 65. Mm -hmm. They 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 ran the ball well during that drive. Uh, went, uh, had to punt, they come back and they score again. Then Malik gets us, you know, a little bit of life down there and we go for it and we don't make it. And and uh, just, we've got to find a way to win those situations because if we don't, then we can get behind uh, fairly fast. We've got to do better in situational football there. You did put some points on the board though. You got back in the ball game, yeah. so to speak, and that had to give you some confidence going into well, the Well, with 21, room. I believe it's 21-10 at halftime. Uh, we get in the opening kickoff and then we muff it and bless his heart, you know, we practice that mm -hmm. and uh, just should have set, set on it and didn't. But um, yeah, at halftime, I felt pretty good. I mean, felt terrible, but better because I knew we was just 11 down with the ball coming. Well, there's a ball game coming in the second half, 21-10 at the break, and we'll continue with more on Razorback Football with Sam Pittman. Razorback Football with Sam Pittman is brought to you by Stevens. Capitalize on independence. Taco Bell, proud sponsor of the Arkansas Razorbacks. Download the app today and earn points with Taco Bell rewards. By Farm Bureau Insurance, local agents and adjusters, great rates, friendly service. And by Walmart, save money, live better. Walmart. Great game days start with calling the Hogs. By delivering the towing and payload you need, plus the power of a mobile generator, the 2023 Ford F-150 truck always answers the call. The Arkansas Razorbacks and F-150. Greatness starts here. Lock in 2.9% for 60 months plus 500 bonus cash when you order an F-150, official truck of Arkansas. Woo Pig Suey. We put faith in our vehicles to connect us. We understand how important it is to have transportation you can rely on. So no matter what the road ahead brings, 
will be there, offering you and your family the support that's made Farm Bureau Insurance a trusted name for over 70 years. You deserve more. You deserve a promise. Love where you live and play at an apartment, community, or golf course managed by Lindsay Management Company. Affordable apartments with community amenities, including golf courses, fitness centers, tanning beds, playgrounds, and resort-style swimming pools at select locations. Are you looking to buy or sell your home and want an experienced agent to guide you through the process? Lindsay & Associates has been serving the community and bringing great neighbors together for over 45 years. Lindsay, number one in apartments, golf, and real estate. This segment of Razorback Football with Sam Pittman is brought to you by Vold Vision, the official eye care provider of the Arkansas Razorbacks. And now Arkansas gets the ball to begin the third. Ben Raymond to kick it off. A low line drive. This one is going to hit. It's going to be returnable. Squirts by the return man, A.J. Green, back into the end zone. He's going to try to come out. He's only going to get to the one-yard line. They're at the 42 of Arkansas, second down. They give it to Johnson, outside the numbers, lowers his shoulder at the 35, he's got a first down. Rodgers claps, calls for the ball, gets the snap from the gun, looking deep, steps up, throwing down the middle, got a man at the 10, that's ducking into the end zone, touchdown Mississippi State. 33 yards for the Bulldogs. They're really gonna go tempo right here. Hornsby off play action. Wants to throw, got a man wide open. He's got Hazelwood at the 30, open there, spins away. They're going to drag him down at the 19. And Bax and Knox are both over there. They're going to hand the ball off, and Arkansas didn't make it. Dabinia didn't make it. No gain on the play. Mississippi State is held. Hornsby looking to throw, got all day. Heaves it down the field. It is caught. It is caught at the goal line. Touchdown, Arkansas, Bryce Stevens. Rodgers going to throw here, a little quick route complete. That's Harvey inside the 40. Rufus Harvey down to the 30-yard line. First down to the Arkansas 30. Johnson straight ahead inside the 25, inside the 20. Bounces outside to the 10, to the 5. Dives for the end zone. Touchdown. Hornsby gets the snap. Here comes the rush. Malik rolling right. He's got some room. He's looking downfield. Now he's got to throw it. It's picked off. It's picked off down at the 25-yard line. They've just given the ball to Marks and Dillon repeatedly. They're going to throw it to Marks out of the backfield. Across midfield. It's a move to the Arkansas 45. Hudson Clark finally tackles it down at the 41. Rodgers gives it to Joquavius Marks, and he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Now Hornsby's going to throw off play action, steps into the pocket, going to run across midfield. Hornsby trying to get outside the numbers, turns upfield or downfield rather, the 45. He'll get to the 43-yard line. Ray Hornsby gets the snap, flushed quickly, looked downfield, throws toward the end zone, and it is going to be intercepted. It is intercepted in the end zone. All right, second half highlights as we welcome you back to Razorback football with Sam Pittman. It's 27 to 10. You score, you get within 10 points right there, and you have to feel like you have momentum. Well, we I thought we had some momentum there and, and uh, just needed a stop, you know, and and uh, Malik made a fine throw, you know, and uh, uh, of course, uh, 14 uh, made a great catch, and a great catch, mm -hmm. and uh, I was really happy for Bryce on that one. You were down some men in the secondary when the game began, and then you were down even more men as yeah. the game continued. It seems like right now, you're just trying to find guys who can play back there. Yeah, you know, it's a it's a bad situation right now because, um, you know, we just can't seem to get healthy. Even like uh, Brainy, you know, he's had an ankle and we just can't seem to get him healthy. And Slusher's been hurt all year and those other guys, and of course with losing two more today, that. It made it very difficult on the defense. 
I know Bumper Poole would trade today, yeah. would trade a win for the record, but I, we need to mention the all-time leading tackler now for Have the University to of Arkansas. Have to love him to death. He's tough now and has made, of course, more tackles than anybody else. Mm -hmm. But I believe he'd trade that to, to get it next week for a win. I know he would. He's such a great kid. And congratulations to him and all the kids that he's played with. Stay with us. More to come on Razorback Football with Sam Pittman. Razorback Football with Sam Pittman is brought to you by Cox, proud sponsor of Razorback Athletics. Visit Cox.com for exclusive offers. Mercy, official hospital of the Arkansas Razorbacks. By Dillard's, the style of your life. And by Lindsay, number one in apartments, golf, and real estate. Hello, sweet babies. Welcome to your new home. You have changed our life, and you may even change the world. And because of you, 2022 is the best year ever. Mercy has helped moms deliver babies for nearly 200 years. To find out how to welcome your baby at Mercy, visit mercy.net slash UABaby. melty cheese you crave with double the steak is back at Taco Bell. The double steak grilled cheese burrito. A handshake means something. It's a warm greeting, the quiet promise of things to come. To Jack Stevens, a handshake embodied the principles of good business. It provided the foundation for a family-owned independent financial services firm built on integrity and trust that is still run that way today. That's why when we do business, we do it the Stevens way, where a handshake means just a little bit more. Marcelo, no tablet for a week. Get alerts when a new device joins your network with advanced security included with Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi. Hey, though. Sorry you got busted. We're glad you're back on Razorback Football with Sam Pittman. Keeping players healthy, that's a big part of this game. And as you're about to see, the Razorbacks have one of the best staffs in the business. It's a healthcare setting. It's a healthcare profession. A lot of people don't think of it as that. They think of it strictly as hand out water or put band-aids on or whatever. But there's a lot more to it that goes into it. The way I describe my job is we take care of uh, all of the medical need, coordinate the medical needs of our football team. So anywhere from arranging visits to dentists, doctors, and doing all the therapy after they get hurt from the time they get hurt to the time they get back on the field. I think that there's this misconception, especially when you watch the media in some, some forms, it's like, oh, the people who run out with the bottles of water, or hey, the people who are just taping. Whenever you see a highlight video of athletic trainers, it's like our hands moving around and like tape and dust. But um, we do so much more. We're healthcare providers, and we're doing so many things behind the scenes that people don't even know about. Point alert, point alert. I'd say our system is kind of like uh, the wheel with the athletes in the center and everybody is around them taking care of them. We have the athletic trainers that coordinate everything because they're here every day. We're here every day with them. We're here a lot. I always tell people we're like 7-Eleven. We're literally always open. We have a physician assistant that's here all day in the health in the clinic that's just for our athletes. We have an MRI center here on campus across from the baseball field now. We have a massage therapy that comes in um, for the football team. We do it twice a week. Um, we have chiropractic care that comes in once a week. All of those things are, are scheduled and coordinated by me and my staff. It's all a team effort. I always tell everyone we're all working for the same team. Like, I know we're working for the football team specifically, but as a whole, as a department in terms of sports medicine, 
we're all using each other and bouncing off ideas to make sure that we're giving each and every student athlete equitable care, but also exactly what they need um, prescribed for them. Bryant, play fake, throws it short, and the big hit in the open field. The catch by the tight end, Leonard Taylor, but then Miles Slusher taking the worst of it. He's down. You know, I think the hardest thing is when they're done for the season or the worst is, you know, a kid wants to play and had aspirations to play after here and their career's over. You know, you have to sit and, and really take your time with them, and it's difficult. Um, I've done it a few times, and... It's never, it's, each one is different and each kid has a sense for it, I think, but it's always hard to, it's always hard to do. Um, but, you know, I think that's the benefit of us being around them so much is, is that we can have those tough conversations and, and build that, we've built a relationship that you can have that hard conversation and it makes it a little bit, makes it a little bit easier. Sometimes they're thinking about the next game, they're thinking about the next practice. And then you have us where I'm like, I'm thinking about when you're 30 and you want to play ball outside with your son. I'm thinking about you wanting to run marathons when you get done with your athletic career. So it's trying to tie in all the things that we know and how we're educated in terms of being their healthcare provider, but then going to my patient and saying, what is the most important thing to you and how can I help you get there? If it's playing football, let's get there. Let's do what we need to do to get you back for that next game. But if it's, I just want to live a normal life and walk normal, Hey, let's do that too. And if you want to check out more about this Razorback training staff, you can log on to hogsplus.com. They've got the full story. Stay with us. More to come on Razorback Football with Sam Pittman. Razorback Football with Sam Pittman is brought to you by Vold Vision, the official eye care provider of the Razorbacks and Arkansas's vision correction experts. Coca-Cola. With zero sugar and refreshingly delicious, is Coca-Cola Zero Sugar the best Coke ever? Find out for yourself. By Ford. Ford F-150, the official truck of the Arkansas Razorbacks. Built Ford tough. And by Farm Bureau Insurance. Local agents and adjusters. Great rates. Friendly service. If you shop at Walmart, you already know how to get what you need when you need it. Because you're just as good at saving time as you are at saving money. You know how to spend a little less to get a little more. To make life a little better. Great game days start with calling the halls by delivering the towing and payload you need, plus the power of a mobile generator, the 2023 Ford F-150 truck always answers the call. The Arkansas Razorbacks and F-150. Greatness starts here. Lock in 2.9% for 60 months plus 500 bonus cash when you order an F-150, official truck of Arkansas. Woo Pig Suey. I get scared sometimes. Of a lot of things. Joining in. Decisions. The dark. The dark. But I once heard someone say. But as I always say. It's okay to be afraid. As long as you face the fear. And keep moving forward. Wherever you are in life, count on the name trusted in insurance for more than 70 years. Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Live fearless. melty cheese you crave with double the steak is back at Taco Bell. The double steak grilled cheese burrito. Welcome back to Razorback Football with Sam Pittman. And this week we're going to look ahead to our opponent BYU, specifically number 31 on their defense, junior Max Tooley. Max is just coming off having a career high 13 tackles against Baylor, which is going to be this first clip that we're looking at. Max plays kind of this outside linebacker role for them and some keys that our guys are going to have to do not only in the pass game but in the run game is account for him at all times on the field. You'll see here he starts off about five yards off the ball but does a good job recognizing kind of this outside zone scheme that Baylor's trying to run. 
sees that he's on kind of a mismatch with this tight end, keeps outside leverage, wraps up, and gets no gain for this play right here. Here, this next clip, same thing at Baylor. He's on the bottom side of our screen right here, kind of playing much more on outside leverage of the defense. Let's see, he's covering this area, this flat route that then he sticks a good hit on this crossing route number eight that Baylor have right there. You'll see, although he's not the biggest of linebackers, uh, can deliver a really good pop uh, if he has a good running head start on you. So you see now he's kind of moved a little bit more inside this middle linebacker type position. Does a good job allowing the play to diagnose itself. Doesn't get overly extended one way or the other. Allows the blockers and his D linemen to, to account for whoever they need to. And again, is gonna fit up nicely right there in the hole for, again, zero yards. Let's see our last clip right here is them against Utah State. BYU ends up just rushing three with a third and long situation. BYU's D lineman does a good job getting his hand up, deflecting this ball. And number 31 picks that off in the air and ends up just taking this back for a pick six. So you see he's got some good instincts about him. He's got some good speed to break away, get a pick six here at a pretty critical time in the game early on for them. And overall, it's just one of their key players that we're going to have to account for. So that's all we had for you this week. Back to you, Chuck. Well, now the Razorbacks prepare to hit the road again. Coach, you're, you're learning how to be road warriors yeah. right now, and it's not going to be any easier out in Utah. No, great football team out at BYU, and, of course, they throw it all over the place, so that'll be a huge challenge for us. Uh, we're going to have to have a little more ball control, run the football. Got to get better there. And, and uh, our goal coming in, Chuck, was to go to a bowl game, and, and all those things are still ahead of us. Now, I didn't say what bowl. Mm -hmm. We just want to go to a – to the highest one we can, our goals are still there. You talk about getting healthy. That's a day-to-day -day process, whether it be KJ, whether it be people in the secondary. That's just seems like it's something that you've got to deal with every day now in football. It is, and and that's why you, you go recruit, you know, mm -hmm. and you have to continue to recruit and, and continue to get better uh, 85 on your football team, which we will. Your team competes. You can tell these guys they like to compete, and that's got to serve you well down the stretch. I'm proud of the team, and we don't have any name name droppers and all this kind of stuff. We all know. I told them, let's look in the mirror, start with me, and uh, we just got to go get it fixed, and, and we will because they'll work hard at it. All right. Coach, thank you so much. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Razorbacks and BYU next Saturday out in Provo, Utah, and we'll be back when it's over for more Razorback football with Sam Pittman.